this is a video this is a video on scratch 1.3 and it was released in September of 2008 and so let's just open it without further to do also it's a major thing about this version is that it's the first version to be introducing the lists as you can see and I'm again gonna be using the top to down strategy but I don't know about the accuracy but anyway fine and make sure to watch my previous videos if you have not watched it because I'm not revising it well as before because it's just taking a lot of time and also it's not very interesting for many people which I realized from the statistics and yeah you can see that the scratch logo is quite larger than before in the previous video I mean the 1.2.1 video and hmm. and of course I'm go I want to revise that language button will not work because now it needs special files rather than being embedded into the whole file itself like before in 1.0 or 1.1 and let's go and unfortunately the experimental blocks has been removed you can't shift click R to get experimental block but you can do sev several other stuffs which are still there like editing code and here also you cannot shift click or normal click to get that experimental blocks you cannot get it in this 1.3 version and that's all the major changes on the menu bar and there's also this toolbar and all there's no much changes that's why I told you to watch the previous videos in case you want some brief revision or something and I forgot to check that there are some changes to the dialog box over here as well for opening you can see the dialog has been changed and made, made more sleeker and let's just go to the next thing which is the block palette and you can see that the input areas of this has been made it larger and it's much more better than before and the size also has been changed and I think so the font also it's changed to Verdana I think so it's Verdana but I don't know and so you can see that the motion blocks have no change it's, there's not much changes in the major blocks over here but yeah there are some changes except the list and you can see in the controls as well there's not much changes but of course the size has changed and some controls like the shrinkage of this this blank space has been removed like there are more blank space occupied before and yeah you can see that the looks block as well has no changes so let this look at the sensing blocks and you can see that there's a new note block and I know that you most of you don't know how what is the use of this block and of course it has bug I think so you can see my scratch being hanged and I don't know how it's detecting it because I didn't attach any note, note device or something MIDI device or maybe I just, just think it's just buggy thing and it's just used for connecting to MIDI ports so that you can receive from the microphone I mean it receives MIDI notes from the microphone that's what is meant but I don't know if it's working or not I have attached my microphone of course and yeah let's look at the next thing sound has no changes as you can see and numbers 2 has no changes maybe over here I think so this E and 10 has been added rise to E or 10 and then pen also has no changes and so let's look at the variables you can see that the delete variable button has been removed by default only if you make a variable it will show and also variables have some new thing new controls like this thing of course this thing was already there I, by mistake I told that and you can delete the variable like that but now there's a hide variable thing and show variable by using blocks it's quite useful feature so let's make a list called my list for all sprites and you can see that in what comparing when when we compare this to the 1.4 version which is the final release of the 1.x version you can see that the only block which is missing is this contains block list contains which means it checks for whether the list is containing a particular thing and that's the only block which is not there other things are there like list length of my list item one of my list 
of course we can add a list things like of course we you know what what does a list do if it doesn't I don't know that's how you add things then of course you can make it larger let me see if there's any exporting feature of course there's an export and import here also I thought it's not there and yeah the list is totally same like 1.4 except for one block also I forgot to say that let's just open the 1.2.1 version so that we can compare it with it so we're opening the 1.2.1 version you can see that when we put like this things like when the flag is clicked oh sorry for that it's just a lag this is 1.2.1 I don't know if you can see it or not but let me just put it there and put this here this is 1.2.1 please remember that because there's export button over here and the blocks are much smaller so let me just put a block here if I try to snap it there you can see it's going in front of it it's not working and it's going back of it I want it to be covering it fully but that's not how it works before but you can see this is 1.2.1 let's just close it by using my task manager I think the lesser usage is just by the 1.2.1 that I was right and you can see does it snap the blocks together but in this version the snapping blocks feature has been added for the first time so let's try it out and see then only you'll understand it like if you put this thing over here and try to put that block here you can see this gesture has been added if you add over here it will just completely cover it rather than just falling it falling and yeah I already told you that the export button has been removed over here which I just noticed now and the she shape blo block of course wraps around and one more feature is that the comments has been added for the first time but you can't right click on the blocks and add some comment for the blocks as well you can only right click on the whole script area that's the only difference between this comment and that one and of course you cannot delete comments by right clicking or whatever oh sorry it's able to be deleted and you can only create on the sc scripting area rather than the whole block itself so hmm. that's all I can talk about this version and most of most of the other features are still the same and that's all about this video and see you guys in the next video of course 1.3.1 is also on another version but notes block has been removed and some bug fixes are there but I'm not going to be showing it because not a major change is there also there are some languages added but I don't have the locality files I think so this is just a default folder created it doesn't have anything so I think that's all about that's all about this video and I hope to see you guys in the next video.